In this lesson, I'll show you how to calculate delta G for the reaction under non-standard conditions. The first question reads, consider this reaction at 298 Kelvin. We have two molecules of NO plus O2, and this yields two molecules of NO2. We've been given the delta G for the reaction as negative 71.2, and this is under standard conditions. Now we're expected to calculate delta G under these new conditions. Is the reaction more or less spontaneous under these conditions than under the standard conditions? To do this, we'll need the following formula, where to calculate the change in free energy at any condition other than standard, we use this. We have most of this information. Notice that the question gives us delta G for the reaction at standard. It's negative 71.2. We'll plug that into there eventually. R is a constant. In fact, it's the gas constant, and that's found right there. Notice that the units are in joules per mole times Kelvin. We'll be using this number. That will be replaced into R. Temperature is 298, so we have T. And finally, we need to calculate Q, which is the reaction quotient. The reaction quotient is calculated like this, where we have the partial pressure for the products that's given right here. It's 2 decimal zero, 00, and we'll be raising that to the power of 2 because of this coefficient of 2, divided by the partial pressures of the reactants. So given right here is 0 0.100, 0, 0. that's being raised to the power of 2 because of the leading coefficient, times 0 0.100, 0, 0, the partial pressure of oxygen. Let's find out what this is. We'll use our calculator. We have bracket 2.00, that's three significant figures. Raise that to the power of 2 divided by, at the bottom, 0 0.100 squared times 0 0.100, and we get a Q value of 4,000. We need this to three significant figures, so I'll write down 4.00 times 10 raised to the power of 3. That's the reaction quotient, and we'll substitute that number where we see the Q. Now we can go ahead and calculate the rest. I'll make some more room. Rewriting this equation, delta G for the reaction is equal to negative 71.2, that's in kilojoules, but the gas constant is in joules. So let's convert that into joules just to make life easier for us. To convert from kilojoules to joules, you just multiply by 1,000. So we have negative 71,200 joules plus, R is given in the question, 8.314, 8.314 joules per mole times Kelvin times the temperature, and this needs to be in Kelvin as well. We've been given 298 at the beginning. So 298 Kelvin this conveniently cancels out the Kelvin unit times ln of this unitless number, ln of 4,000, and now we can calculate delta G under these brand new conditions. Negative 71,200 plus 8.314 times 298 times the natural logarithm of 4,000. We need our answer to three significant figures, so I'll write down negative 5.06. Since the first discard number is a 5, we'll raise this number up to 7, times 10 to the power of 4. That's delta G of this reaction under these brand new conditions. This reaction is spontaneous. As you can see, there's a minus in front of the number under these new conditions but it's less spontaneous than what we had originally. Notice originally we had negative 71.2 kilojoules. This one is negative 50.7 kilojoules. The more negative it is, the more spontaneous it is. Now, if you would like to see the answer to question number two, write us a comment below and we'll gladly create a solution for you in a video on our channel. Just let us know if you need that. Hope to hear from you soon.